Good morning, everybody. I hope your week is going well. Uh, we're right in the middle of this very critical period in this uh, virus fight, and I hope everybody is staying in place and taking good care of yourself. If you have a copy of your Bible, um, turn with me to Matthew chapter 12, and I'm going to read verse 35 and 36. Jesus is speaking here. Listen to what he says. A good man out of the treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the treasure brings forth evil things. But I say to you that every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. We've all heard the saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Well, Jesus really took an exception to that kind of thinking. He taught that words are powerful, both positively and negatively. Isn't it amazing what a positive word does? It builds us up. We are energized by it. But conversely, everything can be going great and somebody speaks negatively to us and just a negative word cuts us down and deflates us. Well, Jesus was saying here, that we need to guard our heart. We need to set watch over our heart. For the mouth speaks forth that which is in your heart. And the truth is that wicked men will speak wicked words against you. And, and when they do, just be reminded that they did the same thing to Jesus. If you go and you read the verses that lead up to this passage that I read uh, in Matthew chapter 12, what, what's happening here is the Pharisees condemned Jesus' disciples for picking up grain on the Sabbath. And they accused Jesus, and they began to spot, conspire and, and plot to destroy him. And they actually accused him of being demon-possessed. But notice how Jesus responded to all that. He didn't quarrel. He, he didn't get in an argument. He just began to speak truth. And when the enemies of truth come against you verbally, this is the thing that we've got to do. Remember to respond properly. And that means to guard your words. James says that our tongues, if we're not careful, can be set on fire as by the heat of hell. But we have to remember that, that our speech has to be tamed by the Holy Spirit. Remember now, God is in you. He lives in you. So die to yourself and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you speak forth the words of Jesus. So let me just encourage you today. Don't let the enemy destroy, defeat, or discourage you by the words that come into your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you the proper response so that you'll glorify him. Let's pray. Father, we're grateful for another week and another opportunity that we have to, to live for you, to reflect you to others. And Father, we pray that we would set guard over our hearts because we know that what is in our heart comes out of our mouth. And Holy Spirit, we pray that you will guide us in our speech and everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen.